Hey everybody, Bridger Fruth back here with another video, and today I have kind of a cool guitar for you. It's a 1978 Rickenbacker 360 12. Now, this is essentially just the 12 string version of a Rickenbacker 360, which is the model above the 330, uh, for a few reasons. You have the shark fin inlays, you have a bound neck, and also a binding on the back of the body. You have the stereo input, the dual input rather than just the single one, and the entire um, sort of outline of the body is rounded off, which makes it a bit more comfortable to play. One interesting note, there's a little rule of thumb with Rickenbackers in the numbering system. This is a sort of a, a base model, 360, and if you were to add a third pickup here, you would essentially just add a 10 onto whatever model Rickenbacker you had before. So this would turn from a 360 into a 370. And likewise, this has the, the solid tail piece, but if this were to have the whammy bar, it would add a 5. So, hypothetically, you could have a 375 rather than a 360. The neck is kind of a point of contention for some players, um, and that's because the width of the 12-string necks aren't any different than the 6-string necks. They're a, little, they're a little thin, and that's good and bad. It's good because you can, it's, it's easier to play um, wider voice chords. You know? But if you're playing closer voiced chords, or if you're trying to move too quickly, especially when playing chords, it can get kind of tough to have all 12 strings ringing out the entire time. You have to be kind of careful, and you have to get used to it. Um, it's, not everyone's, it's not everyone's jam, but um, that's how it is. Now, these guitars have been continuously made since about 1963, and when they first came out, they had a sort of generic looking, kind of rectangular tailpiece and this changed to the R in about late 64, and I think it's great. It looks much cooler. Yeah, that's about it. Uh, the only thing about this one that isn't entirely original uh, is right here at the headstock. These tuners are actually vintage Gibson tuners instead of Rickenbacker tuners, and it's missing one screw at the bridge. Oh well. Still sounds cool, looks really cool. Um, I'll play it a little bit for you. So uh, thanks for tuning in. Um, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.